Well, gas prices under the Biden administration aren't letting up, and poll after poll show Americans have had enough. Our next guest is crunching the numbers and breaking down how much each driver is actually paying this year. And we're warning you in advance, it's not pretty. Well, joining us now with more on his new calculator is Indiana Congressman Jim Banks, chairman of the Republican Study Committee. Congressman Banks, welcome back to the show. So we had a little fun with your calculator, which is fascinating to see how much Americans are paying. So we put in, we would say America's average truck and average car. We found that if someone has, let's say, a Ford F-150, they're paying around $1,600 more a year. If they're joining, uh, driving a Toyota Camry, it's $1,200 more a year. I mean, this is a lot of money for Americans who go paycheck to paycheck. So what is your goal of this tool, of this website? Well, everybody's taking a hit. And uh, at BidenGasHike.com, you can go and find out how much of a hit you're taking. Uh, by, by the Biden policies that are driving up gas prices. I drive a Chevy Impala, and for me, it's about $1,200 a year. And it's a, it's a regular average car in Northeast Indiana, Fort Wayne area. It's about $1,200. But if you add on the price that it takes to keep my home, and uh, by, by the way, I just went and filled up my gas can a little bit ago to mow my yard. It's going to cost me twice as much to mow my yard. Now we're talking about five to $6,000 a year more that we're paying for gas uh, because of the, the 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 policies of the Biden administration, these Democrats. By the way, these these policies by the Democrats and Bi Joe Biden are intentional. They want us to pay right. a lot more gas taxes because they want to change our consumer behavior. They want us to sell our car, buy an electric vehicle. It's all part of their radical climate change agenda. But you can go to gas BidenGasHike.com and find out how much more you're likely to pay this year as well. Congressman, obviously you didn't get the memo from the administration. Just buy a $100,000 Tesla. That'll solve all your problems with your Impala. Don't worry about it. That's what you should be doing. But people are pushing back on these Green New Deal notions from, from the White House, of course, and the Biden administration is now being forced to resume the sale of leases for oil and gas drilling on federal lands due to a court injunction. Here's Jen Psaki. Today's action, as you know, but for everybody, uh, was the result of a court injunction that we continue to appeal, and it's not in line with the president's policy, which is to ban additional leasing, uh, because, uh, one, we need to move towards a more clean energy economy, which he strongly believes in, but also because there are 9,000 permits un uh, unused uh, on lands that could be tapped into by oil companies, and we don't feel they are needed. So obviously she's bragged about that in the past. Uh, the messaging is obviously wrong. The policy is wrong. So why won't this administration just listen to the people and give them some type of relief by changing course? Yeah, it, it makes my blood boil to hear uh, that explanation. And it, it gets to the heart of the matter. They, they want us all to pay a lot more money in gas taxes every year because they want to change the type of vehicles that we're driving. It's all part of their radical Green New Deal climate change a left-wing agenda, and they're they're succeeding at it. They're they're driving up the cost of our of, of gasoline in this country at, at rates that are causing people to cancel their family vacations. I can't tell you how many families have told me they're canceling road trips, family vacations over the summer. They're changing uh, their their uh, their what they were looking forward to. They can't afford to do it uh, because of uh, these gas uh, gas tax uh, increases. So go to Biden tax uh, BidenGasHike.com and learn more about how much it's going to change uh, your uh, your living standards this year as well. Yeah, yeah, and the Biden administration acts like it can't do a single thing to impact any of this when we know we were energy independent just a couple of years ago. Lindsay. You know, I want to bring up something that's really interesting, though. We had Senator Joe Manchin. He was in Canada uh, just this week talking about how possibly he thinks the Keystone Pipeline's name should be changed. And I want to bring that to you because we had an increasing number of um, red states and attorney generals who are saying, please open up the Keystone Pipeline. But we know one of the reasons that Biden doesn't want to do this. Anything that Trump has done, he wants to stop. And also, Obama stopped this as well. Do you think that that could be some kind of strategy to just rename this thing, make it sound clean energy goal? Because we know that American oil companies can make clean energy. Should that be some kind of goal? Rename well, it. it's silly, but if they want to call it the Joe Manchin pipeline or the Joe Biden pipeline, go for it. it. It would make a big difference in this country for the futures market for oil and gas. It will drive down 
uh, the cost of, of gas in this country once again to get us back to where we were under Donald Trump. Rename it. Do whatever it takes. Uh, kid yourself about it if you're a Democrat and just change the name of the Keystone <laughs> Pipeline. Whatever it takes, I, I'm all for it. But um, it, it's important. And as you said earlier, this is a reminder of how, how well we had it under Donald Trump. We were energy independent for the first time in a very long time when Donald Trump was in office. Joe Biden has driven us back to being reliant on foreign oil and gas once again, and it's costing us a lot more because of it. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. Well, Congressman Jim Banks, thanks for setting up this website, and uh, I hope it helps at least Americans plan now knowing how much it's going to cost them, because we know that these prices aren't going down anytime soon, sadly, for the American people. But appreciate what you're doing to stand up for the American people. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you.